the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this video, we'll look at the process of creating a team managed project. Unfortunately, this process is very simple. All we need to do is to come up to projects, create project. Now we can pick the project template. So this would go back to some of the concepts that we learned about in the last section. Uh, is our team using a Kanban workflow, a Scrum workflow with sprints? If you're not familiar with these terms, we covered them in our previous section, just the concepts. These are agile concepts. Or maybe we just want to bypass agile altogether and manage a list of issue types like tasks and bugs. Or over here on the left, there are a lot more project templates that we can pick from. I do want to point out that Depending on our version of Jira, we may not have access to all of these templates. So let me show you what I mean. If I come into service management and let's pick, let's say the IT management one here at the top, notice there is a lock on this template. That's letting us know we don't have access to this yet because I'm using Jira software for this course and this template requires features that are in Jira service management. Now, if we have admin permissions with access to billing, because that is a different product with different billing, uh, we would have to have access to that. We could unlock that now. And the same goes for a lot of these templates. If we see this lock, basically it means our current Jira license doesn't have the features that we need for that template. Now there are some templates that we could use. Uh, let's say, let's go into design and let's pick this one here for project management. You can see this is using Jira work management as a product, but we have access to this template. The reason for that is because I'm using Jira software and Jira software is basically Jira work management with the agile software development features built on top. So I have access to the Jira work management templates. But let's go back to software development. I'm gonna pick the Kanban template and we can see what this template is doing for us. It's gonna create some issue types for us. The uh, epic issue type, story, bug, task, subtask. It's gonna give us a workflow here with the columns on our board. Pretty simple to do in progress and done. Let's go ahead and use this template. Now the key thing to point out here is really this part right here. I want to mention this because when we create this project, if we create it as a team managed project, we cannot switch that to a company managed project later on. We have to create a whole new project to do that. And the same is if we create a company managed project, we cannot switch that to a team managed project later on. So we have to know which one we want to do at the point of creating. So let's select our team managed project since that's what we're working with here today. And let's give this a name. This will be our website 2.0. Give this a key. So this key is going to be on all of the issues. So if we say this key is web, so all of the issues will be web-1, web-2. It'll just be a sequential order for all of the issues that get added into our project. Then once we're happy with this, click on create and our project gets created. All right, so now that we have our team managed project created, let's get familiar with how it is organized here in Jira. And we'll do that in our next video. In our last video, we looked at creating a team managed project. In this video, we'll continue right along and look at how to navigate around that project. So right away, we can see by default, we're taken to our project's agile board. And this is a Kanban agile board based on the project template that we chose in the last video. So the workflow for this is to take issues from left to right. So let's create a new issue here. Let's say this is our, let's just say build flowchart for website functionality. There we go. Once we have this created, we can see a few different things here. So one, we can see the project key. This is something, again, I pointed out in, in the last video when we created this project. This is the first issue. So we can take this and we can left click and drag throughout the, throughout, uh, the different columns. 
right? So that's the basic process that we're going to do. Take the issue from left to right as work is completed. Now, we can customize this. Let's say, you know what? We actually need a new column here for QA, so we can track that. So once we create this, we can you can see how the cursor changes to a hand. I can left click and drag the entire column to organize this. And you know what, before this is actually done, we need to run this through QA to make sure that this, this has been done. And then once that's done, you can actually pull that in. Now up here at the top, we can filter any of the issues. So if we wanted to, to filter those issues, say just show the ones that have to do with the flow chart, you can see how it's highlighting that. Of course, we only have one issue on here, so it's, it's pretty simplified. Uh, but we also have the ability to see who is in this project and who uh, really filter by that. So only see the issues that are assigned to me, right? So right now, none of the issues are assigned to me. Let's change this here. Select this. And the assignee, right now it's unassigned. Let's assign this to me. And now we can see this issue has been assigned to me. And we can start to filter those issues that based on who those issues are assigned to within the project. Now we can take that to another level if we want by grouping them. So we could group by the assignee or by if there's subtasks, let's see what this looks like. You can see when we group this, it creates in Agile, this is called a swim lane. And so basically what this does is it gives another way of viewing and filtering out the issues. If you think, you know, we have a lot of different issues on this board, being able to group them is really, really nice way of doing that and see, okay, these are the issues that are unassigned, which maybe we need to assign that to somebody and make sure that that gets done. So work isn't slipping through the cracks. Of course, in this example, uh, we only have one issue and it's assigned to me, so we only see this one. But actually, you know what? Let's change that. Let's look at creating more issues and get a better look at that screen that we saw when we assigned that issue. So let's move on to our next video where we'll do that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.